Greetings, all of you. My dear sisters and my dear brothers, my dear friends, a warm welcome from your pastor, Yeti, to all of you. Together we are in Psalm 114. God's dominion over all nature. Our key verse for today, yes. Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, before the God of Jacob. God manifested his power and sovereignty in delivering his people from Egypt and providing a sanctuary in his presence. His dominion was demonstrated over the sea, the rivers, and the mountains. In turning back the waters of the Red Sea for the sake of liberating and blessing his people and holding back the waters of the Jordan that they might enter the promised land. God showed his power over creation. The majestic mountains and the sea were created for his glory. If you can turn a rock into a pool of water and a mountain of flint into water to satisfy the needs of his people, what can he not do for us? Families that are victims of hurricanes, floods, and tornadoes and have had their homes destroyed may feel that they have lost everything. When a business investment turns sore and one's life's savings vanish, there may be a sense of hopelessness. Yet God is a God of beginning again. He is a God of redemption and has the power to restore the fortunes of those who will trust in Him. He is the one who plants courage in our hearts and a steadfast resolve not to succumb to adversity, but to grasp firmly the vision of restoration and hope. God is able to take the drought of a farmland, the loss of a job, a handicap, cap, or disability, and turn it into a victory, a new direction, and hope. The whole earth trembles before him, All of nature is subject to his will, and therefore we should stand in awe before him. Acknowledging his power and realizing there is no challenge or problem beyond his ability to intervene and bring blessing. Israel was subjected to slavery in Egypt for 400 years. They wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. And surely they had doubts about whether or not God cared. They probably felt forsaken and often wondered if he had the ability to deliver him. I think we can recognize ourselves in this. Someone may find himself in the same situation, having gone through a failed marriage, the loss of a loved one, or declining health. The loss of a job may leave one wondering how his family will be supported. We may not have a clue how God can work through things out, but he has prepared a sanctuary for his people. There is no element of nature and society that is apart from his dominion and ability to use for his purpose. Others may be in bondage, to sin, much as Israel was in Egypt, living among people of a strange language. The church and God's chosen way of life have been rejected in choosing, of choosing to speak the language and ways of the world, feeling self-sufficient and opting for a lifestyle of personal gratification. Yet the emptiness has become apparent and life is headed for 
a dead end. We are urged to return to the fear of the Lord and allow Him to intervene in His wisdom and power to fulfill His purpose for us. Come with me in my prayer moment. Lord, I am often subjected to situations and trials I cannot understand and I cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel. Help me realize that there is nothing that is not under your dominion and you will accomplish your purpose in my life if I will allow you to intervene by bringing my life into subjection to you and standing in awe before you. I pray this in the powerful name of, our, of your Son, Jesus, the Christ. I know, my dear ones, that life can be so difficult and yes sometimes we don't see the light through the tunnel the end of the tunnel but let me encourage you that when God promised through Christ that he was giving us the Holy Spirit he did it and he said also this that I will be with you always and according to our humanity we doubt we fail we question and much more but we are in Christ we are hidden in him and he will take care of us sometimes there's patience needed sometimes there is obedience and sometimes we have to come in a quiet place and the reality is that what we ask is not always what we need and we have to learn to come to this understanding. It's not wrong to ask God. It's not wrong. But it's a mystery that we always, that we don't know, always understand, my dear ones. But open your heart to Him. He is able to bring you to a deeper understanding. And as long as we are on this earth, our body will give in. We're getting older. We can become sick. But in all that, He wants to raise us up. Let Him love you. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. I love you guys. Bye.